So uh, next we have a question from Century FE74 on the R454B misdometer. I guess this was in uh, in terms of uh, when we were talking about our comparisons between the two A2L refrigerants. He says that R454B will probably be banned in the future due to the PFAS forever chemicals in the R1234YF part of it. R32 is pure and doesn't have forever chemicals in it. Much cheaper to you too, since patents have expired. Well, yes, it is true that um, other refrigerants, uh, particularly the ones that have R1234YF in them, uh, do have PFAS in them. And uh, Europe among and also around 19 states are currently in the process of either planning on banning or talking about banning uh, chemicals just like it uh, as far as PFAS goes. Um, you know, there may be some arguments against it being in a sealed system, but, you know, then again, we're also talking about how it might affect the global, you know, global warming potential and all that. So, I mean, obviously, if we're, if we're talking about global warming potential, we're talking about refrigerant being released. Therefore, if we're talking about refrigerant being released, uh, we might not want PFAS being in those refrigerants. Um, so now, when that I'm happens, gonna, yep. remember that Greece using R32 will have equipment for you. Right, that is true. Now, uh, one one thing I will say as far as the two uh, refrigerants that are being offered currently, only <laughs> one of them has been used for 15 years. Only one of them isn't, you know, a blend. Only one of them doesn't have active patents that, you know, somebody is getting paid on. Um, <laughs> you know, it's being used uh, globally currently. So there are many, many suppliers of R32, which keeps prices lower. Um, you know, R32 is used globally and that's where most of the, you know, most of the manufacturers from a global standpoint are already headed that, or have already headed that direction. So, so Daniel, you, we can add to that just to kind of ward off a question before it comes. What's that? With our experience with, with an R32 jug yesterday. Yeah. Cause it clearly said on the box, what? <laughs> I don't remember. Flip it upside down. To charge. It did say flip it upside down and you don't have to. And you don't have to because R32 is not a blend. Right. So you can pull off the top of the tank. You can flip it upside down, pull liquid off the bottom of the tank. It doesn't make any difference. You're not changing the composition of the refrigerant. Right. But it is clearly marked on the box that it says flip upside down to charge. And in reference to those single speed systems, since this might be just our charging episode, I suppose. Um, uh, you know, if you're talking about the single speed systems or the two speed systems where you, you know, you might be able to top it off, for example, you can top it off with R32. You know, right? Because it is a right. single component yeah. um, system. I mean, there's a lot of benefits there. I mean, the fact of the matter is there's already millions of units that use R32. There are probably a handful that use any other one. <laughs> you know, that other one that we were talking about. Yeah. Um, so, you know, as far as um, when people ask why, I would ask, you know, you to ask why to the other folks that are trying to sell you on something that hasn't been around that long. 